It's wonderful how fast you adapt, Lila. You've only been here for a few weeks, but it's like you've always been part of the class. Hello, Miraculous fans. In today's video, we're taking a new approach to evaluating the world of Miraculous Ladybug. Fan theories allow an audience to be involved with the story, and they can reveal some interesting information. That's why we're diving into a popular fan theory that has taken the fandom by storm. In the series, one of the most influential abilities is time travel. Heroes and villains use the power to turn their battles in their favor, creating a delicate balance between good and evil. With the knowledge that time travel exists, it's not a stretch that one of the series' most notorious villains could exploit it for personal gain. In this theory, we're debating if Lila Rossi could be Mano Shemuk from the future. There are many compelling pieces of evidence that point to Lila and Meno sharing the same identity. To begin, we'll focus on the most straightforward connections and then move on to the ones that could require some convincing. Lila and Mano share a very similar appearance. They each have a tanned complexion, brown eyes, and dark hair. Mano also wears a pair of overalls adorned with lilac flowers, which could easily be a nod to Lila's name. To play devil's advocate, we can assume that Lila has changed her appearance more than once. In episodes like Revelation and Collusion, we see Lila is adept at disguising and adopting new identities. Currently, she is using the name Cerise to hide in plain sight. However, even as Cerise, her natural hair is a dark brown, and she doesn't change her eye color with contacts, meaning that her resemblance to Mano will remain intact going into season six. The following part of the evidence includes an analysis of their personalities. We'll begin with Meno, who, as a child, has less complex storylines and motivations. Meno's mother, Nadia Shemuk, is a news anchor who spends more time at the TV station than with her daughter. At least that's how it appears on screen, as most of Nadia's appearances occur when she's at work. These instances leave Meno feeling ignored, as seen in The Puppeteer when her mother fails to listen to her. Now give the doll back to Marinette. No! I want to keep it! <gasps> she can if she wants. Oh. I told her she could borrow it. Lila also appears to have trouble feeling ignored, as she creates elaborate lies to keep eyes on her at all times. Some of these lies include being a personal friend of Prince Ali, having an ancestor who wielded the fox miraculous, and having numerous injuries that gain her sympathy. In that same line of thought, Lila and Mano share similar powers and skill sets when akumatized. In Puppeteer, Mano uses dolls to take control of various villains and Cat Noir, manipulating them to do her bidding, even against their will. Whereas Lila, when she's the villain, hoaxer, brainwashes her innocent victims by showing them fake social media posts. A good segue presents itself when we consider how hoaxer's use of social media could easily correlate with Nadia's job as a reporter. She spends her entire day behind a screen, reporting news stories to the people of Paris, truthful or not. Lila has other connections to Nadia that can go overlooked if someone isn't paying enough attention. In Collusion, Lila has an investigation board, including photos of people she appears to be researching or using for her master plan. A picture of Nadia appears on this board despite seeming very out of place. Nadia doesn't share anything in common with Hawkmoth, Myra, Ladybug, or Cat Noir. The only possibility is that she has a personal connection to Lila. Marinette wanted me to have it! You disobeyed me. I told you the dolls were to stay at her house. <gasps> Lila and Nadia also attend Sabine's painting class, as seen in Chi Lin and Revelation. They could enjoy painting as a hobby, but Lila rarely does something if it won't help her achieve her goals. She could attend the lessons to learn about Sabine, the mother of her rival, and to acquaint herself with Nadia, a woman on her investigation board. However, if this theory holds water, Lila could also attend the class to be close to her mother. Lila's parents are peculiar. In Revelation, we learn that Lila has three mothers, each who lives in different homes and seems to know their daughter as a distinct person. At first glance, it appears that Lila has somehow manipulated these women into caring for her or believing she is their actual child. If that is the case, which one is Lila's biological mother? Was she adopted by one of these three women? If Lila came from the future, then she wouldn't have a parent in the past to help care for her. She couldn't go to Nadia's doorstep and claim to be the younger Mano. Yes, superpowers exist, but time travel is one of the least plausible abilities used by the heroes. Therefore, Lila would have needed to find shelter elsewhere, including guardians who could make her lies and multiple identities believable. Oh, I was talking to my agent, Mom. I was telling him I'm going to miss you while we're shooting the movie in Mexico. Lila obtains a new identity at the end of Recreation, once she takes the Butterfly Miraculous. She will become the new user of the Miraculous in Season 6, cementing her spot as the series' main antagonist. However, Miraculous Ladybug foreshadowed this development in Season 3. In the episode Time Tagger, a time-traveling villain from the future arrives, attempting to stop Ladybug and Cat Noir when they're young and less experienced. Time Tagger reveals that the Hawk Moth he works for isn't Gabriel at all. The Hawk Moth he must be referring to is Lila, although that may not be the name she used in her time. 
The final evidence that drives this theory home is Time Tagger's real identity. Once Time Tagger loses his villain identity, he appears to Ladybug and Cat Noir as Nino's younger brother Chris, the same Chris whom Lila babysits during the episode and who seems to have a deep admiration for her. Chris's feelings for Lila also contrast with how he interacts with Marinette, who accidentally contributes to his akumatization in Chris Master. Interestingly, Chris and Menno are also friends. They are the same age, each finds a babysitter in Marinette, and they interact in episodes like Simple Man. If Chris and Menno grew up together, became best friends, or even developed a relationship, then Time Tagger's dedication to helping the new Hawk Moth would make complete sense if Menno and Lila were the same person. <laughs> Chris's identity as Time Tagger also adds credit to the theory by allowing Lila to travel through time at will. The only other character with constant access to time travel is Bunnix, but since she knows how everything in the story will play out, there's no way she would assist Lila in traveling into the past. Therefore, the only person capable of bringing Lila to the past is Time Tagger. As the wielder of the Butterfly Miraculous, she could have akumatized Chris so he could send her into the past. Then, as her right-hand man, he could have traveled to the events of Time Tagger solely to distract Ladybug and Cat Noir. After all, the series has shown that a person can be re into the same villain more than once, and Chris doesn't need to be the exception. To recap, Lila and Mano have the same appearance, have absent parental figures, and dislike feeling ignored. They have similar powers when they're akumatized, which focuses on manipulating others. Lila has a connection to Nadia, one important enough to pin her on an investigation board alongside heroes and villains. The future Hawk Moth was alluded to in the episode Time Tagger, where Chris, someone who admires Lila, was a time-traveling supervillain. Chris is also the same age as Mano during the main series, and could be the one who helped Lila time travel into the past. I'm Time Tiger from the future, man. I crisscross time with a spray paint can. Looks like your time's up at last, cause I'm gonna send you way back to the past. Although the theory has recently gained traction in the Miraculous Ladybug fandom, some viewers may think it's a stretch. However, with time travel as a recurring mechanic in the narrative, the realm of possibility is far from endless. The fans have had convoluted theories based on evidence they found throughout the series. Seasons ago, fans began to suspect that Adrian and Felix were sent to monsters. They used dialogues, behaviors, and scenes from the series to build their case. And in Season 5, their hard work finally paid off. The Sentimonster theory was confirmed by Felix in representation, proving how observant fans of Miraculous Ladybug are. The Lila and Mano theory may prove to be nothing more than a good guess by fans in the future, but much like the Sentimonster theory, the evidence is there. Why else would the series emphasize Lila watching Chris place Nadia on Lila's radar and give two of their recurring characters such similar appearances? As Season 6 begins, fans will continue to collect evidence that will add credibility to this theory, and in a few seasons, they may be celebrating the reveal that Lila was Mano all along. It's such a shame that your daughter Marinette won't bother to take advantage of all that you have to teach. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. I look forward to seeing you again, Marinette Dupan Chang.